Well, Twitter has apparently decided to suspend the account of conservative commentator activist herself, Candace Owens. Why? Because she told the, the residents of Michigan to go back to work? Apparently, you can't do that. I got a breakdown coming for you guys. Stick with me. First, do me a big favor if you can. Give this video a like. Let's try to get the likes way up here in this video if we could do that. Share the video here across all your platforms. Help me to defeat the YouTube algorithms that suppress my content. Subscribe if you're brand new and if you guys enjoy my daily video content here would you consider sponsoring my ministry you could do so by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth just check that pretty link down below in the description for five dollars a month you could sign up get all of my bonus content it helps what i do here at the channel because youtube is demonetizing my videos on a daily basis they're not even getting you guys the alerts for when i post the content it's terrible what they do guys like i'm just a blind fat guy here at the end of the day but youtube sees me as some kind of a threat okay i'm just trying to bring you guys the news and events of what's taking place here in the last days so thank you for all of your support but it's speaking of support Candace Owens sure isn't getting any. Over the weekend, just a couple days ago, she put out a tweet saying that apparently, talking about Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan, apparently that uh, Whitmer thinks that she's a duly elected dictator of a socialist country, she said, and she encouraged the people of Michigan to stand up to her and to go back to work. She even said that the police don't even agree with the governor's stance, which is true because a lot of police have said that they're not going to enforce any of these laws, the stay-at-home orders, everything that's going on. And then Candace Owens went on to say that what are they going to do? They're going to arrest, you know, tens of thousands of people for actually going to work. She said if AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez can, you know, use Twitter to, to go ahead and encourage people to walk out of work, she doesn't understand how she can't go on Twitter and encourage people to go to work. She didn't understand how that violated their terms of service. Twitter apparently didn't even tell her what specifically it was about the tweet uh, that did violate their terms of service. She has appealed this decision, but we really shouldn't be surprised because all social media platforms have been cracking down on anybody who really speaks for freedom, that calls for freedom, that want people to get back to their daily lives. It's happening all across the board, Facebook, YouTube included, Twitter, you know, everybody. You know, it's happening all over the place. Candace Owens is a strong fighter. She'll pull through this. It's terrible to see what's going on here because what's happening in Michigan, though, is a travesty. Uh, that governor has completely lost her mind, you know, keeping people, you know, telling them you can't, you can't buy certain things. I'll tell you what you can buy. I'll tell you where you could go. It's, it's terrible what's taking place. Now, if you want to check out the original tweet of what Candace Owens had to say, because Twitter did take it down, I'll put a link in the description. You could read it for yourself there. It was safe, thankfully. So you guys can check that out. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section about what happened with Candace Owens. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.